We're going to start by hitting our system menu key and pressing select for maintenance. Then we're going to come over to maintenance control, hit select, and what we want to do is we want to set up our dual displays that will make things easier for when we cycle the uh, thrust reverser. So we go into this page right here. We're going to set up our dual MFD so that we'll have our display over here as well. And what we're going to do is go to onboard maintenance. Then we're going to go to other functions. Select that. Then we're going to select special function. Select that. And then we're going to come down to whatever engine we want to uh, operate, which is in this case it's going to be the number one engine. So we'll scroll down to number one engine. We'll select that. That's going to bring us down to this menu here and we want to thrust reverse our cycle. We're going to select that and then hit continue. So we have to set up our preconditions. In our preconditions they want us to select the applicable EEC to test. This is the reason why we went to dual displays. So now I can come over here. I don't have to back out of this screen. I can come over here to my maintenance control pages, miscellaneous system controls, then I can power my EECs to test and I never have to back out of that screen. So that's one reason to do the dual MFD. The next step is after we power the EECs is to set the ground test switch to enable on the panel back here. Now it's asking for hydraulic power. We're going to cycle the number one engine, so we will turn on A system hydraulics. And we're going to hit continue. So on this display over here, we're going to go to the maintenance data page so we can watch the uh, deployment of our reverser. So I'm going to go to maintenance data page, display selection, and I'm going to come down to performance and here we see our thrust reverser position right now it's 0 uh, 0.2 which is closed come back to this screen we're going to hit the start function so now we can deploy and stow the thrust reverser as needed so I'm going to come down here and deploy my number one thrust reverser. I'm watching my thrust reverser position open up to 100% here. Once I've cycled it, now I want to close it so I can uh, I can go ahead and stow it. I'm watching my thrust reverser close. This one will get the light. And then at that point I can stop the function. We can have the option to operate it again if we wanted to, or we can just back out of the screen. Uh, one thing to remember is to complete your post conditions, because if you'll remember we turned on our EECs. Uh, we need to turn those off. So we want to always complete the post conditions. So I'll go down here to post conditions, hit select, and it's telling me to switch the uh, EEC power to normal. So I'm going to come back to this screen. Maintenance control pages, miscellaneous system controls. I'm going to turn my number one EEC back to normal. And now I'm going to set my ground switch back to normal on the panel back here.